Hello everyone, today we're doing the Vald Hertz Crypts mini dungeon found in the Echo Vald Wilds map. We're at the Mori Village Waypoint heading north to my personal waypoint. And I'm gonna show you how to get there because this one's easy to get lost along the way. But first, heads up, you cannot enter the mini dungeon without first completing the Crypt Seeker achievement. I'll link that guy below in case you still need it. I'll also have timestamps below just in case you're here for the two puzzles, that way you can skip ahead. So there are four achievements in total to be found in this mini dungeon. Most of them are found at the very end, either at the last boss, which I'll point out, or for looting the chests at the end, or one for just completing the mini dungeon itself. There is one, however, the Vault Hurts Victor. I want to point that out now because it's worth knowing now, and it's for completing all rooms in the mini dungeon in a single run. So our first event is to survive the assault in the Vault Hertz entrance hall. Nothing can bring me down. never even came inside. We were ready to fight, but they threw canisters to the doors and sealed us in. Please, please, you must stop it. Let us rest. Please. And our next event, clear the crypts makeshift armory. Come <laughs> on. 
you're not ministry. We never fought the ministry. We just coughed until there was nothing left. This can't be what the Derheim artifact was meant to do, can it? Fresh pain. After all these years. Our third event is solve the puzzle in the Hall of Tribute. Just letting you know if you make a mistake, you can reset the puzzle with the stone scribbles. And here is the order to activate the levers. So first is flaming lever, aqueous lever, flaming lever, aqueous lever again, And then a Mistral Lever. So while we wait for the dialogue in our next room, there is a book here, a selection of children's rhymes and verses. Now it talks about the five houses and their weapons, and this is the next puzzle we will be doing in the dungeon. Now, the only two weapons they actually do list are the shields and the swords. And our next event, fully explore the Vault Hurt's living quarters. And our next event, survive the attack in the magic laboratory. I call on the spirits of my ancestors. Help me protect the last of our family. Fury is mine.
find your way. The crypt has a test for you. And for our next room, we will solve the puzzle in the head of house's chamber. And I just put in the text in the corner here just to make it as simple as possible. So each display has a plaque behind it. And if you interact with it, it will tell you what house it is and give you a hint. This one is quick cuts. For our second house, it's always sharp. And for our first host, it's sturdy, vast, and strong. Now, my methodology here was based on that children's book. It listed a shield first and then a sword. So in my mind, the hints line up with that, and that's what I went with, and it happened to work. So we're going to grab our shield. The sword. The third one said quick cuts, so the dagger makes sense here. This is our fifth house. It says tall and strong. A staff makes sense there for me. And for our fourth house, it does say guardian of nature. I think ranger, ranger, I think bow. Guardian of Nature. Okay, just triple check in here. And so through process of elimination, here we are. So just a heads up, there is an achievement in the next room to defeat the bosses without getting struck by their attacks more than 10 times. Now, to be honest, I am almost certain I got hit by their attacks and I still had the 10 buff listed on my achievement bar. It wasn't until they were both defeated, the orb in the back started hitting me and that's when those buffs started counting down. So that achievement gave us a mastery point as well. We also got the resting heart achievement for clearing every room in the crypt. We got the Vault Hurts Victor achievement. This is for completing all rooms in the mini dungeon in a single run. I like it. For the living, not the dead achievement. As you can tell, I still haven't completed it, but you need to loot up to 35 of these chests to complete it. So that is it. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was helpful and I don't know, maybe see you around.